You didn't have to meet me here, Jesse. I don't need a bodyguard. I know, but I know what Roy and his homies are like. They're just trying to scare you out of testifying for Abby. Yeah, but it's that note that Roy threatened you with. That's the part that I can't stand. Look, they didn't come after me, Jesse. They came after you. Listen, I love it that you're here with me today, but it's just lunch, okay? No bodyguard, no shadow. You, you can call it lunch, but as long as Roy and his pals are around, I'm not leaving your side. And that's something you're just going to have to learn how to live with. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to tell you that in a few days, you're going to be on your own around here. No, no, no. No deal. I'm up for the next vacation. No, you I'm leaving. Well, what are you talking about? I have something very important to tell you. But believe me, you know, the first couple of appointments are so boring. There's nothing to, to be part of. Maybe later on, you know, when there's more stuff happening. Whatever you want. Okay. Tula? Uh, I love it when you call me that. I'm telling you, it was a slight shock to me when it first came out. Sounds like you've been saying it all your life. You like that name, don't you? Petula. <laughs> I like it because you gave it to me. I also like it that you're beginning to remember things. So, what are you going to do today? <laughs> I scout around town, you know, maybe if I walk down the street, something will come back to me. That's a good idea, yeah. Worth a try anyway. Yeah, you could go to the diner. You haven't been there yet, have you? Well, um, I play by ear. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Well, have a, have, have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. Um, I'm glad this baby is happening to us. I mean that. Petula. All right, that's the last of the balloons. What's next? The dishes for the ice cream need to be brought out, and the gifts for, for the boys need to be brought downstairs from upstairs. We're having ice cream and cake? Oh, well, that's the general birthday tradition, big boy. Honey, I love my sons, but I'm having visions of sticky-fingered little ones climbing all over my house. Yeah, well, not to worry. Some of the kids from the boys' play group have really good table manners. Yeah, do they? Sometimes they use spoons. <laughs> well, don't I feel better? <laughs> Relax, Daddy. Oh, any parent worth their salt can get through this party. Oh, yeah, you Yeah. Bet. <laughs> It's the one tomorrow I'm going to need real help with. Tomorrow? Oh, the grown-up birthday party, you know, with my mom and Fletcher, Meg, my dad. And Rick? And Rick should be invited. Does that make you feel uncomfortable? Oh, no, no. Rick should be there, but we have something to discuss first. What? Oh, you look so serious. Rick is not letting go of the idea of putting his name on Kevin's birth certificate. Plus, the man is in a very bad place when it comes to Abby. But I thought that they were doing better. They were until Abby's attacker was released on bail. Now, I don't blame him. If something like that had happened to you, I would be crazy as well. But Rick's anger is spilling into other areas of his life. You mean Kevin? Yeah, and I have seen it a couple of times. He's suspicious of the way I'm handling Abby's case. And then he thinks that I'm going to go easy on Abby's attacker until he agrees to forget about this birth certificate. Oh, that's ridiculous. I know that, but he's not thinking clearly about anything. And that includes what's best for Kevin. I'm afraid that the twins' birthday party, that could really set him off. sure that you want to work today? Yes, I am. Well, wait a minute. I just, you know, everything you've been through... Rick, I... Rick, I'm okay. Thank 
I don't want you to push yourself too hard. You understand? No, I'm not. I'm ready. Nobody's... Nobody is expecting you to bounce back right away. I understand, right? but work is a big part of my getting to back to normal again, and that's what I'm going to do, so you don't have to worry about me. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay, I... because Aunt Maida told me that you were really sort of jumpy when she got home oh, last night. Oh, well, that was just, you know, I, um, I didn't realize that Michelle had left the house, and... Well, I, I wouldn't have left you alone if I'd known that. No, really, it's okay. It was just the trick-or-treaters. I just don't, you know, I'm just not used to Halloween like I thought I was. Are you sure you're okay? I am, and I have a lot of work to do, so I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, I'll see you during the break. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Everything from the very beginning, okay? Okay. I thought I saw somebody outside the window. And so I went out there because I I thought it was a trick-or-treater, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It was Roy, wasn't it? Was... And I tried to tell him to leave me alone and to go home, but he wasn't listening. And so I called out for Michelle and Nobody came, and he was laughing at me because he knew that there was nobody in the house with me. You must have been so frightened, honey. I was. I was, but I didn't want to be. I tried not to be, and he didn't even care. He didn't even care that there's a restraining order against him, and so he just pushed his way into the house. He pushed his way into the house, and he was very angry, and he told me that I had been telling lies about him. He what? He told me that I shouldn't be telling people that he did something that he didn't do. He... Wait a minute. He said that he never attacked you. Is that what he said? Yes, he did say that. Hmm. And I told him... I screamed at him to stop lying like that. And I told him exactly what he had done to me. How he grabbed me and he ripped my dress and how he tried to rape me. And then he got really angry and out of control. And he... He told me that he knows when I'm alone and that he's going to come back and finish the job. Don't want any more violence. Why didn't you come to me? 
Why? Why are you telling me what's going on? Because I knew how you would react, and I didn't want you to be upset and go out and do something stupid Abby, that's going to get you hurt. I'm not going to do anything. No, just listen. I needed to be able to stand up for myself. Abby. I just don't want to be a victim anymore. I really want to be strong. I'm trying. You're not a victim, and you're strong. You are unbelievably strong. But you can't go at this alone, Ab. You can't, and don't worry, honey. I am not going to go nuts, but we have to do something about Roy. You understand that, don't you? Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to make sure that that maniac never comes anywhere near you again. That's what I want to do. Right? Not Let's ever. Let's do that. Let's do that. I want to do that. <laughs> Hey, Buzz. How's it going? Hey. Hey, Buzz. How you feeling? Don't push. I was hey. just on my way to the diner. Oh. Having coffee? Yeah. So what's it like, uh, you know, being in the diner, I mean? I don't know. Oh, you haven't been in yet? No, I just kind of take it in the sights of Springfield. Yeah. <laughs> kind of small town, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, small. Yeah. It's not bad, though. My best memories are here. Forget that I said memories. <laughs> Forget that I said anything. You know what? If I don't get a regular coffee fix, I'm off the deep end. So I'll just, I'll see you later, right? Hey, Harley, wait. Uh, if you want to have some coffee, why don't you have some of mine? Uh, and cream, no sugar. Still? I guess so. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I got, got it around the corner. Oh, that, um, yeah. oh, that's your competition, you know. Oh, <laughs> that's why the guy looked at me so funny. I did, <laughs> they tell me that this is the grimy in the town. Not grimy, just old. Doesn't look old. I mean, except for the diner, which looks like pushing 100. Well, you have yourself to thank for that. No, I do. Apparently, you saved it when the rest of Fifth Street went up in smoke. There was a fire here? Yeah, huge one. Every ambulance and fire truck in the county was here. You stood on top of that roof. Flames pouring out, everyone begging you to come down, but you wouldn't do it. You stayed until the diner was safe. Sounds vaguely dangerous. It was. You almost lost your life. Pretty brave for somebody who used to hate that old place. Well, not hate it exactly, just frustrated, I guess. Why? Well, I wasn't frustrated. <laughs> well, a bunch of reasons. Um, the diner wasn't what you wanted to do with your life. Springfield's a small town. You didn't see yourself as a small town kind of guy. You had this, um, this built-in restlessness, you know, this see-the-world spirit. I guess that's why you took a powder and ditched us all those years back. I can't believe I just took off and you know, left. Well, m Mommy and Frank, really, I wasn't born yet. I was on the way, but you didn't know that. I mean, not that Mommy didn't tell you. She just, um, you can't find someone. You can't tell them, you know. What the hell kind of person is, uh, am I? I don't... <laughs> well, you, you changed. You changed a lot. You got, you got better. She said now it feels like, you know, we're losing you again. If that's the case, maybe it's a good thing that we don't know each other anymore. Maybe it's a very good thing. Vanessa? Oh, well, hi. 
Hey. Hey. Let me guess. You're here to see Margaret. Uh, you too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Oh, I can't believe we're having these babies together. Yes, I can't believe I'm having a baby, period. <laughs> How are you? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Did uh, Dr. Rick give you a checkup? Yes, he did. He gave me a clean bill of health. Try as hard as he might, he can't find a thing wrong with me. That's such good news. Yes. Oh, if your dad could see us both now. Well, I think he can. <laughs> I think he's up there somewhere, and right now he's looking down and chuckling away. I think you're absolutely right. <laughs> Where's Matt? Uh, well, he couldn't come this time. There was an, uh, an emergency at the job site or... Oh, my goodness. I should think he hates that. He... Well, I just have this picture of him. There's a father-to-be who wouldn't miss a single day of the entire nine or ten months <laughs> of pregnancy. Yeah, you're right, which is why I'm sort of glad there was an emergency at the job site. Yeah. I mean, he's been neglecting his work too much because of me. Everything's all right, though, isn't it? Oh, yes. Good. Yes, everything's fine. It's just that... I'm feeling a little suffocated by him. You know, I love him to death, but mm. goodness, he's so overprotective about this baby and my pregnancy, and uh, just holds my hand all the time and treats me as if I were a porcelain doll and a... Uh, gosh, I'm sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. Oh, no, that was really insensitive no, of me. No, it's quite all right. No, it's not. I... How is Buzz? Oh, he's... He's much better. Is he? Mm, yeah, he's beginning to remember a few things. Oh, mm -hmm. what? Oh, well, he called me Petula, my pet name, just out of nowhere. Oh, that's great. It is. It's, it's wonderful. The thing is, I haven't had a chance to tell him about the baby being Jeffrey's. Oh. Well, that's all right, this time. Yeah, actually, uh, I was thinking that maybe I, you know, maybe I wouldn't. Mm. You mean until sometime later, till the time's right? No, I mean never. What? Look, Vanessa, Buzz is just beginning to find his way back to me. He, he's overwhelmed with joy that we're having this baby together. I don't really see why he should know otherwise. I've taste tested all the ice cream and I'm pleased to say it passes muster. Are you pleased to say that there's, there's any left? Mm. I'm doing my job. You keep decorating. Okay, all finished. What do you think? I think <laughs> that it couldn't be better. Mm, it's pretty great, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We've come such a long way in just a year. Not just us, not just the boys, everybody. I know. I used to wonder if we would even be together to celebrate this birthday. Blake, we're going to be celebrating with our boys when they're bringing home their boys. Mm -hmm. The sticky-fingered people, do you think? No, too early. Oh. You know, I bet it's the florist mom threatened to send a, a bouquet. Oh. Ross, the secretary, said he was home. <clears throat> Rick, I'm sorry. I should warn you that the Play Kid groups are coming over to celebrate We're the We're here about birthday. Abby. Rick, I don't mean to be rude, but this is a really Roy time. Meacham. Roy Meacham barged into my home last night and terrorized he Abby. What? Oh, no. Abby, I'm so sorry. I'm not interested in any damn apologies, Ross. I want Roy's bail revoked. I want 24-hour protection for Abby now. And if you and the courts can't make this happen, then believe me, trust me, I'm going to take care of this myself. I think it's time to level the playing field in all the ways that count. Be prepared, old friend. Huh. We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Thanks. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you that uh, last night after you left, Marcus Williams came by. He has some good news. What's that? Well, the road tour he's going on, they want to hire someone to help out with PR. So? So I think you would be great for it. You could go on tour with him for a little while. Me? 
Yeah. I don't know anything about the music business or public relations. So what? I bet you could pick it up. I've got classes, Jesse. Look, opportunities like this, they don't come around that often, Michelle. The experience alone would be worth it. Just drops. What was that for? For loving me. And I love you back. And I know you're trying to protect me from Roy by sending me away. I just think you'd be safer out of town. That's too bad. I'm not leaving. It's taken us too long to get together. And now that it's happened, I'm not leaving you. Not ever again. So you're telling me you were the person who stopped Buzz Cooper? I know it's a lot to think about. Mom, Mom, here, sit, please. It's obvious. It's obvious that you're wound up a little too tight still. You don't know what you're talking about. What I heard is that you actually saved Buzz from some sort of a car. No, there wasn't any car accident. He, he just said that. So then how did he lose his memory? He fell down the cellar steps at the, at the cabin, and he had come to confront me about being the stalker, and so I told him everything, and... The ironic thing is, is that he forgave me. No, no, no. It, you're my mother. You couldn't have done something well, like that. Well, I did. And I, I don't know how it happened. It just, I mean, it started out as a joke. And then somewhere along the line, I started missing your father. And then I started, I became afraid of being alone. And I mean, you know, Buzz thought it was a joke at first, too, you know. And then I began to, uh... I began to fantasize that he really cared about me. Mm -hmm. But the worst part is, is that I've hurt somebody that I really care about. And that he doesn't know who he is. And he doesn't remember his family. And and I, I did that. It's all because of me. Look, I don't know if I know anything about love. Whether I do or do not know anything about love. I'm staying this time. I'm not leaving. Oh, really? You've made that decision? Hi, hell yes. I mean, I got a kid on the way. And that is the main thing is tying me down to this place I could care less about. I, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I'm not, no, I'm, I wasn't trying to, you know. No, I know what I you're didn't. trying to say. It's, it's fine. No, it's not fine. It stinks. No, it's I fine. Did, I meant no slight at all to you or Frank it's or a little okay. Coop. Really I mean, I don't even know you people. Oh, my geez. I can't get my foot out of my own mouth. Why do I keep hurting, hurting people I don't deserve? Please stop being so upset. It's not going to help. Yeah. Look, I, t I don't know where up is half the time. But I should know enough to know you don't swat down people's dreams. You don't hurt people on purpose. I just don't know how to make this right to you. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know either. I didn't know you for a long time. I only know the man that you became. And I learned to love him. You're my father. I was proud of you. I, uh, I counted on you. But if you can't be that man again, I will learn to live with that. I hope you don't have to. I hope I get my damn memory back. I, my family. All of you. This week, it's on. There's someone else, isn't there? The ultimate face-off. Just don't be surprised if you got a little competition. And it's winner take all. I wouldn't waste your time hoping that Cole will be yours one day. You could have a very long wait. Because when two women battle for one man... You're not getting my husband without a fight. Second best just doesn't cut it. I don't know what I would do if you got hurt because of me. <laughs> I get the message. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah, you sure know how to shut me up. You were about to say I'm impossible to shut up, right? I don't know. Why don't we see if uh, this will do it?
But why, Mom? I, I still don't understand why you well, could Well, do... it, it's sort of hard to explain exactly. It's just that when you're young, you have dreams. And you think that they're all going to come true and that you have all the time to make them come true. And then some day, suddenly, you turn around and none of it's happened, at least not the way you thought it was. So I guess I just wanted a chance to make those dreams real. But why Buzz Cooper? Because he's loving, and I wanted that. Yeah, something that Dad wasn't all too good at. No. It's just that, you know, I, I don't know how it happened. I don't know how things went so far, but I have to make up for what I did. Mom, you don't have to leave home. It's not no, I, I can't stay here. Mom, your friends are here, your work is here, your family is here. No, I've got to go someplace alone and figure out why I could hurt so many people that I love so much. And you know, it just breaks my heart to think that I, how I've hurt you and how I've lied to you. No, no, no Mom, no matter what you've done, I, I love you, Mom, I always will. No, but I want, I, I want you to be proud of me. I am proud of you, Mom. No, well, you know what? I'm not proud of myself because I don't like myself very much, and I have to fix that. And until I do, I'm not a very good mother at all. And all of that happened before that animal barged in into our house and terrorized Abby. <laughs> Abby, I want you to tell me in detail everything that happened last night. Um, the twins are still napping. Good, then we can finish this right now. Okay. Nick, Nick, Ross is going to handle everything, okay? That animal, that animal was in my house. He was in my house. Rick, Rick, please don't beat yourself up. You know what? This. I love her. I should be able to protect her. I know, but you can't blame you know, yourself. I was this. the first time I've left her alone. The first time. It's over. The only time. It is over, Rick. Okay, now Ross is going to prosecute this guy, and he's going to put him away for a long, long time. Abby, you have nothing to worry about. Roy Meacham, he's going to be put back in jail for violating the restraining order. Okay. Okay? Oh, man, what still burns me. What still burns me is how this, how this guy got on the streets. How did he get on the streets, Ross? Who put up the bail? Who put it up? I don't know. All I know is they didn't use a bail bondsman. They put up the entire $100,000. I know. Oh, where, where, where does this... Where does a guy like Roy Meacham come up with that kind of money, Ross? Now, does he have a family member we don't know about? No, his only living relative is his mother, and she doesn't have that kind of money. But then who's backing him? Who's, who's doing it? What kind of animal would let an attempted rapist back on the street again? I don't know. All I can say is whoever did it must be out of their mind. No, this won't be easy, but it'll be worth it. What are you waiting for? Are you going to open it or what? Uh, but what's this for? I mean, what did I do to deserve this? Nothing. You're just you. Would you stop? I'm serious. You wanting to be with me, that's a gift you give me every day. I wanted to give one back. Go on, it's for your birthday. Your birthday's tomorrow, right? I can't believe you remembered it. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesse, a heart. It's perfect. In case you're wondering, I got it before I knew about your mother's heart. Well, then that makes it even more special. So, I'm gonna go talk to Jenna and tell her what I did to Buzz, and hopefully, you know, someday she can forgive me, and hopefully, someday, you can forgive me, too. Hey, Mom, I'm, I'm long past having to think that my parents must be perfect. Dad taught me that. I don't want you to blame your father for this. No, no I'm, I'm not, but he did leave you once. No, he left you twice. That's pretty lousy. I know, but what I did isn't his fault, so I don't, I don't want you to blame him. Mom, I just want you to be happy. That's I all. I, I, I know, I know, I know, but I can't be happy until I'm honest with myself. 
And until that time, I'm I'm just no good at all. So then you're you're gonna take off then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna um I'm gonna leave in the morning and um you know, so I probably won't see you. And uh I'll just call you when I I land somewhere. Okay? All right. You're my father. I'll do whatever I can to help you. Whatever it takes. I don't think it's going to be easy, you know. Well, you, you were never easy. <laughs> we're used to that. So, how do you feel about your old man being a... working at a diner? I don't mind. I don't mind at all. They call you the king of Fifth Street, you know. I mean, some king. I can't make much money slinging hash over there. Well, I think they... I think they mean rich and friends and family. I got friends? You got a lot of friends. Oh, my God. You've got Mrs. Popoff. You gave her a whole day's take when her grandson ended up in the hospital. And you've got Mr. Lee, that nice man that owns the laundry around the corner, when his mother was going to come here to live with him. You went around collecting spare change. And when your customers didn't give you enough, you took the rest out of your own pocket. Wow. All these people know me. <laughs> they don't just know you. They love you. See, you don't come from a place where you expect anything in return. You're real that way. You're, you're honest. Anything anybody needs, you're right there. You're there for me. What I'm trying to say is... It took a long time. A long time to get you back in my life. And I'll do whatever it takes to keep you there. A child should never have to wait for a father. I mean, never. I'm... I'm so sorry for all this. I'll try to make it up to you. I... Shall we start over? Okay. Sure. I would like that. Abby, I'm sorry. Could you tell me again, what time did Meacham come over last night? Um, he came over a little after 9.30. And how can you be sure about that time? Um, I, I checked my watch right before he got to the house. Wait a minute. This, this is crazy. This is... I can't stand this. You know I can't stand this. I can't stand that I'm not with you every single moment of the day to protect you from this man. So I thought of a way that I could be. Now, honey, you know I love you. I've always respected your beliefs, and I would never ask you to do anything against them, never in a million years. What I'm trying to say is, since you won't live with me until we get married, why not just tie the knot right away? Work here longer hours, Jay. You can dream about it. Look, Drew, we both know this is the money. Look, I'd rather wear last year's style. Look, can you do it or not? <sighs> sorry. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, too. If you need me to work, then, then I'll work. You can count on me. Thank you very much. So, how does it look? It looks perfect, just like you. I'm never going to take it off. 
Look, I try to give you something nicer, maybe more expensive. No. This is the best birthday present anyone's ever given me. Our hearts are one, Jesse. Nothing can stop us. Nothing and no one. Tonight, just, I just want you to be safe, honey. You're so, I love you. I love you so very much. But, I, no, I can't. You I don't know, you understand I that? I know, you're very just... worried about me. I know that. But listen, we cannot marry him just... You know, we cannot marry each other just to be safe because then we give him all of the power and we can't do that. That's the last thing we can do. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. No. When I marry you. When I marry you. Not if. I really wanted to be with joy in my heart so that we can have all of those blessings that we hope for. Frank Cooper. We're gonna get Roy Meacham back in jail. Frank, it's Ross Marler. Roy Meacham violated the restraining order. Yeah, Abigail Bloom, about 9.30 last night, it was at Rick Bauer's house. Yes, he threatened her. So you pick up Roy Meacham. Do it right now and tell Levy I don't want any mistakes. Yes, I'd like to make a plane reservation. First class to Springfield. And I want the earliest possible flight. Thank you. Yes, I, yeah. Buzz! Oh, I, I, I just don't, no, I don't think so. I don't want to argue about this anymore. Well, I don't want to argue either, but I want you to get... I want you to listen to me for crying out loud. I am not going to tell Buzz the truth about this baby. That's final. All right. Now, if you're not going to take a page out of my book, take one out of your own. Just think about... Just think about how awful it was when you didn't tell him about Coop. Well, that is an entirely different situation. It's not different yes, at all. Yes, it is. Coop is Buzz's son. But this baby that I'm carrying, it's Jeffrey's baby. If I tell Buzz the truth now, I'm going to lose him forever. This has been Guiding Light. rely on the CBS Evening News to get the whole story. We rely on Experience, the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. Experience you can trust.